Hello everyone and welcome back to the workshop. One of the most useful tools in my workshop is my caliper. I can accurately measure lengths up to 5 one hundredths of a millimetre using this caliper. However, one of its biggest weaknesses comes up when you need to measure the depth of a hole. The small base will result in the caliper wobbling around, giving you several inaccurate depth measurements. Now there are special depth gauges on the market with much wider bases to overcome this issue, but I think I should be able to make a small attachment here in the workshop that allows us to use our regular calipers as a makeshift depth gauge. I drew up this model in CAD. It's effectively just a piece of ground metal with a slot cut into it and a retaining bolt to hold a caliper in place. This style of retaining nut differs largely from the conventional bases that are for sale. The more conventional ones have a locking screw which pushes into the side of the caliper which may produce some unwanted wear marks. This one here should avoid it. This project requires much tighter tolerances than most. It is essential that the bottom surface and the slot are at perfect right angles to each other and that the bottom surface is as flat as we can get it. So let's get started. For this project I'll be using a piece of aluminium left over from a previous job. Now I will admit, aluminium is not the optimal material. It is a little bit too soft for what we want here, but if this project turns out well, I will certainly be remaking it in future from a harder material such as steel. This is just a proof of concept. So the first thing we need to do is square it up using the four jaw chuck. The finish that we get from the lathe will not be its final finish. In my experience, I can get parts to be square much more easily using the mill than I can using the lathe using the tools that I currently have. The slot for the caliper is marked out to be machined, although it only is acting as a rough guide as the tolerances need to be very tight and it needs to be a very tight fit. With the slot machined to the correct width, the bottom surface is then made to be perpendicular with the slot, so the caliper will sit perfectly 90 degrees upright. and a dial indicator shows this to be within tolerances. Thank you. 
Next we need to make this wall retaining nut and I'll be making it also from aluminium. I'll also be using an off the shelf washer to prevent the nut rubbing against the caliper as I tighten it, so it should prevent any wear marks. Okay, so it looks like the attachment works pretty well. Instead of the caliper wobbling around on the surface, it rests a lot more steady than it did before. And with that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.